So the other day, I get this email from this fabric company about their new release of their dead stock designer fabric. And I started doing some research of these fabrics there. And before I even pulled up Google to look up these fabrics to see that I can actually pinpoint which designer they're from, I recognize a fabric, three fabrics actually. So I bought them. Vroom vroom. I parked in a 15 minute zone and the person in front of me is getting a ticket so they don't mess around here. I cannot be here more than 15 minutes. Thank you. Got it. First one doesn't smell dead. Slightly thicker, but still see through. And this one, I feel like Taylor Swift wore a shirt like this, but it wasn't from this designer. This also reminds me of Grandma. It's like trendy Grandma. So you're probably waiting for me to tell you what I'm gonna make with these fabrics. I don't know. I think maybe I should make the pieces the designer made with these fabrics, make matching. Okay, these outfits are really hard. So the designer is Charlotte Knowles. She is from London and she does a lot of form-fitted pieces, hence why we have all spandex here. And she does a lot of repeating where she uses the same top from season to season, but then changes up the pattern like, recognize this one? Huh? Recognize this one? Huh? So this is what I'm thinking. We're gonna use this fabric here. We're gonna make two pieces, the long sleeve top, the tight pants. And then hopefully I'm gonna look like this in the end. For some reason, the patterns didn't come with the fabric, which is kind of strange. So I actually have to make my own patterns for this and I'd rather not. So I'm just gonna trace them from clothes I already have. Where the frick is it? Well, I got kind of frustrated that my shirt was not in the spot it was supposed to be, so I took a two hour nap, went back in the closet, and I found it. If you guys like sewing or knitting, you need to listen to this and crochet. So have you guys heard of Crafty before? Crafty is an online community for DIYers, crafters, and makers who want to advance their skills or learn some new ones. Crafty has over 2,000 classes you can take in knitting, crochet, quilting, sewing, painting, drawing. All their classes are step-by-step -step, and they also have downloadable resources to help make the class even easier. So personally, I have been in the crochet section of Craftsy and I've actually been learning how to make mittens. This is something I've actually never made and they have a whole bunch of different kinds of mittens where they even have cables or fingerless. Like I'm learning everything here. If you guys wanna try out Craftsy, be sure to use my link down below in the description and the first thousand people to use that link will get a full year of premium membership for only $1.49. So three hours later, I finished the top pattern. Front, back, and sleeves. Bad news is I still have to do the pants and I don't have enough paper. This is a little bit smaller than the one I had, but that's okay. Oh, they have white though. Twice the price, but that's pretty good. Morning. This is the one issue about working at your kitchen table. So I made a goal for myself that I was gonna read more this year and I set up the goal that I was gonna read 12 books. But so far I am ahead of schedule. I have finished one book and I'm already 100 pages into my second book. So I set the goal of 12 books just you know, hit bare minimum. Like, I feel like that's very achievable, but I, I did really didn't want to go out and say like, I'm gonna read 50 books this year because that's a lot, one, for one. And two, I read 50 books with the expectation to read 12. Like, you're really smashing your goal. But as I go and read 50 books, expecting to read 50 books, it's not as exciting. That's why you have to keep expectations low because then you're more excited when you actually do better than your low expectations. So I'm not 
showing step by step how I'm making this pattern just because I'm tracing garments that I know that fit me. And if you guys wanna learn, I'll link some videos down below because that's how I learned how to do it years ago was just from YouTube videos. So moment of truth. Do I have enough fabric for my patterns I just made? Please have enough fabric. I am so happy I have enough. sure why I'm just realizing this now after I cut out the top and drafted these patterns for two days but this fabric is very see-through like if I bend over you're gonna see my butt crack so this should be lined how do I make this work or do I just leave it see-through like how the frick did they design it mm, I get it they lined the butt so when you bend over you don't see the butt crack Well, I think the only way to figure out if I have enough fabric is to cut the pant legs. So I ended up cutting each pant leg individually so I could save the most amount of fabric and I have this much left, which I think this is gonna be enough for the diaper covering. So to make this diaper covering, I'm just gonna cut out a piece like that. So after two full days of preparation, I am finally ready to start sewing today. I don't know why it takes two whole days to prepare, but it does with sewing. And today I'm gonna be using two machines. This one and this one. So the issue with my surgery is we've been running on fumes for quite some time. I bought this used like three years ago now and I haven't serviced it. Don't worry, I maintain her pretty good. So I just figured something out. I think I can fake a cover stitch. And if you don't know what a cover stitch is, it's pretty much, I'll, I'll show you, this stitch. You've definitely seen it everywhere. Pretty much any spandex or stretch material uses this cover stitch, especially in sportswear. But you need a certain machine for that, and I don't have that machine. I have every other machine, but I don't have that machine. So my plan is, I'm gonna do a serger stitch, looks like this, and then I'm gonna fold it on the front there, and then sew on the other side, and then it'll look like this. So first step, let's sew the shoulders together. I think it's okay. Now for the sleeves. So before this top is like sealed, sealed shut, I need to work on sewing all of these flaps down. Looks pretty good, right? Just a few more final details in. I'm gonna sew the pants. This, I'm a little worried about because I've made like a top like that a thousand times, but I have never made pants with like a diaper on it. I feel like this is gonna look weird. So no turning back now. I've, I've cut the pieces. I can't tell if it looks like I'm gonna be wearing boxer shorts over or if I should cut it more to look like underwear. I swear, if I end up looking like a superhero when I wear these pants at the very end, I'm not gonna be very happy. I'm not gonna fix them. I'm just gonna accept fail, but dinner probably won't be as enjoyable tonight. Hey, Lucy! Shoot, I forgot to film that. I do not have more brown thread that this exact color, so I've been having to go back and forth with my serger thread here. Legit, cut it off, put it on the other machine, take it off, put it back on this machine, every time I go back and forth. I can't wait to be doing the pants. I don't know if I was making this pattern at night or what I was doing, but the back is like six inches taller than the back. I'm so confused how I did this.
These look pretty good, other than it is slightly sagging the back here. That might have been my bad. These are better than I expected. There are some improvements, you know, for future pants that uh, I will never make, but. I'm so tired of sewing. I, I never want to do another fake cover stitch ever again. Okay. I want it tight, but not too tight. It's always so hard. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sew this into a circle. There. Next, I'm gonna sew it to the top here. Elastic is crap. Now I remember why I haven't used it. Next thing I gotta do, I need to hem it, but because, I'm very happy with this, but because this fabric is like spandex and it's not like a woman or a knit, I can just cut it. This one, I'll use this as a cutter. I'm gonna try everything on for you guys now, okay? Just wait there. I feel like a cheetah wearing this outfit. Like, I don't know if you're supposed to wear it all together, but I'm wearing it all together. Maybe a nice blazer would break it up and make it look really good, but I, I, don't, I don't have a blazer. Or is this, is this too much, too, too much? 